In this video, we'll be taking a look at three college football games happening on December 17, 2022, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three college football games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from one betting pick a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Louisville vs. Cincinnati A pair of interim coaches will do battle when Louisville faces Cincinnati in the Fenway Bowl on Saturday morning. The Bearcats are looking to win at least 10 games for the fourth time in five seasons after winning three of their final four games to close the regular season. Louisville lost two of its final three games and will not have its star quarterback on the field. This will be the first ever college football game at Fenway Park. The Bearcats are 2-6 against the spread in their last eight neutral site games and 1-6-1 to to against the spread in their last eight games overall. The Cardinals are 2-6 against the spread in their last eight neutral site games and 5-2 against the spread in their last seven games overall. The under is 6-2 in Bearcats' last eight games overall. The under is 4-0 in Cardinals' last four games overall. The road team is 4-0 against the spread in their last four meetings. This is the epitome of handicapping a non-playoff college football bowl game in 2022. There are interim coaches on both sidelines, along with a bevy of star players opting out. Neither team will have their starting quarterback, making this an intriguing pick. I like Cincinnati quite a bit though, as the Bearcats still have their strong rushing attack and star linebacker on the field. They are also more physical than Louisville across the board, and it is going to be harder for the Cardinals to adjust offensively without Cunningham. They are also missing their top wide receiver and one of their key running backs. The Louisville Cardinals are getting a little too much respect here, as you can argue the Cincinnati Bearcats have been the better team against the better competition. Also, that solid Cincinnati defense should have success against a below-average Louisville offense that struggles to throw the ball. I just feel Cincinnati is the tougher, more balanced team. I'll take the points in a game Cincinnati could easily win outright. Cincinnati was the better team coming in and has more key players available, so the Cincinnati Bearcats to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. I would be shocked if we see anything too crazy from these offenses on Saturday day. Not only are they both playing without their starting quarterbacks, but they are also playing under interim coaches. Those guys want to prove themselves not only to their own school, but also to schools looking to make hires across the country. This will lead to pretty basic schematics, with a heavy dose of runs and not many fancy plays. These teams had been playing low-scoring games as is, with Cincinnati going under in six of its last eight games and Louisville going under in five of its last six games. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Florida vs. Oregon State It's bowl season as the Florida Gators and the 14th-ranked Oregon State Beavers face off in the SRS Distribution Las Vegas Bowl on Saturday afternoon inside of Allegiant Stadium. The Gators wrapped up the regular season with a 6-6 record and are on a two-game losing streak coming off a 45-38 road loss against the Florida State Seminoles on November 25th. Sophomore quarterback Anthony Richardson went just 9 of 2-7 for 198 yards with three touchdown passes and one interception as well as 10 rushes for 41 yards. The Beavers finished 9-3 in the regular season and are on a three-game winning streak after a 38-34 home win on November 26. Freshman quarterback Ben Goldbranson had a brutal game as he was just 6 of 1-3 for 60 yards with a pair of interceptions through the air but also ran four times for seven yards with a pair of touchdown runs. Miller is the great unknown in this matchup. He will literally be taking his first snaps of the season and doing so with a depleted wide receiver group. Miller has had several weeks to work with the first team and Napier has a solid track record working with offenses. Expect the Gators to lean heavily on their ground attack and take some shots downfield against the 84th ranked Oregon State pass defense. Oregon State will most certainly pound the ball against Florida's 98th ranked rush defense. This game has two teams that are not particularly dominant in the red zone. Oregon State is ranked just 99th in red zone efficiency this season while the Gators are just 115th in red zone efficiency. Another key to 
Florida staying in this game as the team's 16th ranked turnover differential compared with Oregon State, ranked just 91st in the country in turnover differential. Both teams have motivation to win this game, but I like the Gators coming out of a stronger conference and with the motivation to get over .500 for the season with over 10 points to work with. So the Florida Gators to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. While both teams are in the top 50 in scoring, Florida at 46th in the country and Oregon State at 50th in the country, both teams will look to do the most of their damage on the ground. With that in mind, the clock should be moving throughout this game and the scoring will be on longer drives. Florida comes in with a quarterback making his first start of the season and likely auditioning for the job next season so Napier will likely protect him with the Gators' stout ground attack. Oregon State already possesses a run-heavy attack and will run even if they fall behind, as proven by the team's comeback against Oregon. The total has dropped by nearly four points since it opened at 56 and, for good reason, ground and pound will be the name of the game and ball control will be essential. Circumstances should keep this game under the game total. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Fresno State vs. Washington State The Washington State Cougars and Fresno State Bulldogs will be trying to close out their season with a win when they meet in the Jimmy Kimmel Lab Bowl presented by Stiffel on Saturday afternoon. The Cougars closed out the regular season with a 51-33 loss to Washington as two-and-a-half-point underdogs. The Bulldogs closed out the regular season with a 28-16 win over Boys State as three-point underdogs. The Cougars are 1-5 against the spread in their last six neutral site games and 4-1 against the spread in their last five games overall. The Bulldogs are 2-8 against the spread in their last ten neutral site games and 4-1 against the spread in their last five games overall. The under is 10-3 in Cougars' last 13 games overall. The over is 5-2 in Bulldogs' last seven games overall. The Washington State Cougars and Fresno State Bulldogs clash in just the second ever Jimmy Kimmel Lab Bowl. Fresno State opened the season 1-4 and looked headed for a disastrous season before turning it around in a big way and winning the Mountain West Championship. They have won a staggering eight consecutive games heading into this matchup. This is Washington State's seventh straight bowl appearance. Washington State had a strong season, beating Wisconsin but falling to many of the top-tier Pac-12 opponents. The edge here lies with Fresno State's ability to shut down the run and get their own ground game going. Fresno State is 8-0 when allowing fewer than 178 rushing yards, and Washington State has only run for more than that once. Washington State struggles more against running teams, going 1-5 when allowing more than 121 yards and 6-0 when giving up fewer. Trust both of those to come true. You can argue the Washington State Cougars are the better team here, but I don't trust Pac-12 teams given their reputation, and they can't run the ball, which plays into Fresno State's hands given its 23rd in pass defense. We're also getting free points with a Fresno State Bulldogs team that hasn't lost a game since October 8th. Heener is also an NFL prospect, going against a Washington State defense that's 112th in pass defense. So the Fresno State Bulldogs to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. The Cougars are averaging 28 points per game and 25 points per game on the road. They have the 35th best passing offense in the country and they're facing a defense that has the 17th best pass defense and is giving up 22 points per game, so expect them to hold the Cougars under their average in this game. The Bulldogs are averaging 30 points per game and 28 points per game on the road. They have the 27th best passing game in the country and they're facing a defense that is 111th against the pass. Even though the Cougars are giving up 22 points per game, the Bulldogs will score enough points to push the score over the total. Over the project Projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.